Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semi-circle with the center O, fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle uh, A, B, C, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the point uh, D is our point of tangency. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, A, E length uh, is four units. Whereas uh, this segment uh, AD length uh, is uh, 8 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. This area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating the green shaded region uh, area. So therefore, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of the big uh, triangle uh, ABC minus the area of the semicircle. So therefore, now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC and the area of this uh, semicircle uh, as well. In order to calculate the area of the semicircle, we must uh, calculate the radius uh, lowercase r value first. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point D. As you can see in this uh, next step. Now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OD represents the radius of this semicircle. I'm going to label this radius uh, lowercase r. Likewise, uh, this uh, EO represents the radius uh, as well. I'm going to label this one lowercase r as well. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder uh, this angle uh, ADO turns out to be 90 degrees. Since this is our radius and this uh, is our tangent line and now we are going to focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, ADO. We can see that this uh, hypotenuse of this right triangle uh, is going to be lowercase r plus 4 so that is going to become r plus uh, 4 and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for this uh, radius r value and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase r plus 4, whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase r and 8. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, lowercase uh, r square plus uh, 8 square is going to be equal to r plus 4 whole square. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2 times a b plus b square. And we are going to apply this uh, identity on the right hand side of this uh, equation. So therefore we are going to have uh, lowercase r square plus 64 equal to r square plus uh, a times r plus uh, 16. And now we can see this r square and r square gone. So therefore we are ended up with the 8r plus 16 equals to 64. Let's subtract 16 from both sides. This is gone. So a times r is going to be equal to 48. Let's divide both sides by 8 to isolate radius r. This 8 and 8 is gone. So therefore our radius uh, lowercase r value simply turns out to be 6 uh, units. So therefore our this uh, radius value turns out to be 6. So that means this radius is going to be 6 uh, and likewise this is going to be 6 as well. And furthermore uh, this uh, OB is the radius uh, as well. So this is going to be 6 units as well. So therefore uh, this whole uh, side AB length uh, of this triangle ABC is going to be 6 uh, plus 6 plus uh, 4 and that is going to give us uh, 16 units. And now let's assume that this uh, segment uh, CD length uh, is uh, x units. 
And now let's recall the two tangents theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, then they are congruent as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see we got this external point O, whereas points A and B are the points of tangency. Then these two segments AO and BO are going to be congruent. So therefore, according to this theorem, this segment BC must be equal to this segment CD. If this is X, then this BC segment has got to be X as well. And furthermore, this whole diagonal AC is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths X plus 8. So this whole hypotenuse turns out to be X plus 8. And now we are going to focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for uh, X. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is X plus 8, whereas our two other legs are uh, X uh, and uh, 16. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, X square plus uh, 16 square is going to be equal to x plus uh, 8 whole square. And now let's recall this famous identity once again. a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2 times ab plus b square. We are going to apply this identity on this uh, right hand side binomial. Let's go ahead and take care of it. So x square plus 16 square is 256 equal to x square plus 16 x plus 64 and now we can see this x square and x square they are gone so therefore we are ended up with the 16 times x plus 64 equal to 256 now we are going to subtract 64 from both sides this is gone so therefore 16x turns out to be equal to 192. Let's divide both sides by 16 to isolate x. So therefore our x value simply turns out to be 12 units. So therefore our this x value turns out to be 12 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this right triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to half times base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base of this triangle uh, is uh, 16 and the height of this triangle is 12. So therefore, the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times the base is uh, 16 times height is uh, 12. And if we simplify, that is going to give us uh, 96. So the triangle ABC area turns out to be 96 square units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle as well. And let's recall the area of a circle formula. It is always equal to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. And in our case, our lowercase r value is 6. So therefore, uh, the semicircle area is going to be simply pi divided by 2 times uh, r square. And now we are going to substitute uh, radius r value. So pi divided by 2 times uh, 6 uh, square. And that is going to be equal to 36 uh, times pi divided by 2. And if we simplify, that is going to give us uh, 18 times uh, pi. So the semicircle area turns out to be 18 times pi. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded region finally. We already figured out our triangle ABC area over here and likewise the semicircle area over here as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the green shaded region area is going to be 96 uh, minus uh, 18 times uh, pi square uh, units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the green shaded region area turns out to be 96 minus 18 times pi square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 39.45 square units as well. 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.